Let's take five minutes with the Amana Smart Thermostat. Okay, we were waiting for it to go out and find the equipment. Let's look in here again. We'll go back into equipment. And we see that the little uh, thing isn't spinning anymore. The little uh, circle isn't spinning anymore. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in here. This is a question that I'm asked quite frequently. Gary, in the summer we installed this piece of equipment. It's winter now, and the customer says they have no heat. Let's take a look why. We're going to jump in here. We're going to go into the heat pump. When we go into the heat pump, let's look into heat settings. We're going to look, make sure everything is in there. Now, when we look and it says backup defrost heat. Now, it typically comes and this thing is always off. I'm surprised it's always on, but it's, but it's always off. When it comes from the factory, guys, do not think that it might not be in the off position. Now let's take a look. On my thermostat, I can do always on, or I can do a below temperature. Now, what this is going to do, the defrost won't work unless it goes below a specified temperature. I don't like to put it that way because I have seen times when at the atmosphere, you got a little, you know, a lot of humidity outside and it freezes up. So I'm just going to say, not below a certain temperature, I'm going to say, hey, have my backup defrost heat available to always own. Hey, what will it hurt? So I'm going to always own, I'm going to back back out. Now, I may be wrong about this, and I may hear some people say, hey, that ain't the way you do it. You put it, you know, below a certain temp. Always on will save you. It will be always on. So we're going to back back out. We're going to go in here, and we're going to look at defrost interval. This unit on a side discharge or the um, units out there, especially the side discharge, has what they call intelligent defrost or smart defrost. So what it's going to do, you don't want it to run a defrost unless it sees that it takes a certain length of time. So when it takes above five minutes to defrost, it's going to shorten its defrost interval without you having any input. So it's going to do it anyway. So what you want to do, just leave this at whatever it's set at so the defrost interval is good. We've got our backed up defrost heat is in there. So we're going to take a look. We're going to go on down, make sure we've got everything set up. We don't worry about our heat airflow trims. We don't want to do that. Now we're going to come back and we're going to look at heat pump settings. Now, this is my auxiliary lockout temp. So when I'm looking at the auxiliary lockout temp, what I want to lock this out? Well, let's just click on it. Now, it will explain it to you, auxiliary electric heat strip won't run above this outdoor temperature. This is something that is going to be focused to your customer. If it's an older customer, they're going to want that backup heat. So what this is saying, when I go into defrost, do I want heat strips to kick in and add a little heat while I'm waiting for it to defrost? Some customers are going to say, oh, no, 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 anything above 50 outside. So it's measuring your outdoor temperature on your thermistor on the outdoor unit. It's going to come in here and you can say, hey, I want it to go in here and I want that auxiliary lockout above 50. Or you can do it at 40 or whatever you want it to do. Uh, some, if you have a, kind of an older customer, they may want you to say, hey, I, I want it to, 
give me a little backup heat all the way up to 65. I've set it at 65. Now, here's your heat pump lockout temp. This unit will heat down to approximately 15 degrees. So what I want to set it at? Well, I don't know. It depends because it's saying that it will do 15, but you might not want it to run at a constant like that during those times. So let's just say, hey, anything below 25 degrees, anything below 25 degrees, I want it to go ahead and I want it to kick in. So we've got our auxiliary lockout done. A heat pump, a lockout temp, so it's changed both of them. Uh, let's say heat pump lockout temp. I'm going to set my heat pump lockout and say I want that heat pump to lock out. It says it heats down to 15. We're just at 15 degrees. Let's just go ahead and lock it out. All right. Auxiliary heat lockout temp, of course, we got it set at 65. So we're going to jump back out. Now, you see that both of them are set there. We've got both set. So we're going to jump back out. Now, we'll go back into heat pump settings. Make sure we got everything set. If my fingers work. Now, we're going to go back into cool settings. Let's go back into uh, to our cool settings. Make sure everything is set on. We got our dehumidification. Uh, let's, let's set that back up. Uh, that's, that's A, so it's good. That is a good dehue. Profile is D, that's good. So let's go back out. And let's go into the air handler real quick. We're trying to set up all our heat settings. So we're going to jump in here. We're going to say heater kit. Now, you have got to tell this thermostat because just because you put on defrost don't mean that you'll get your heat kit. So I've got to set my heat kit up. This one right here has a 5kW. What I also want to do, this is not the only place that I have got to set it up. So I've got to go to the board on the air handler and I am going to dip switch number three, DS3. DS3 is going to be dip switches 9, 10, 11, and 12. So there's four of them. Now you will have to look in your book and there are codes. What you'll do is you'll say, what size unit do I have? Oh, I've got a 24 kW, I mean a, a 24 ton system, you know, a two-ton system, not a 24, a two-ton system. So I've got a two-ton system. I'm going to put a 8kW heat kit in it. I will match it and it will tell me what uh, heater kit selection that I will need. It'll say fourth valid kit, fifth valid kit, whatever my valid kit is, it will tell me my heat pump switch settings for DS3. It may be on, on, off, off. It might be on, off, on, off. You will have to look that up. Make sure that you set that and the thermostat both up. There will be a time where it will call for both and it will need it and it will actually uh, foul you up. So make sure you set DS3 on the board and you set your heat pump.